So hello everybody, my name is Ruth Buswell from Curvel.com and in today's video we're going to talk about coloring, creating themes for customers, for specific customers, what the process looks like, what tools they use, how to get inspiration, you know, everything that you need to know. So let's get started. Let's imagine that Lego, you know, the Lego company calls us and said, hey Ruth, could you create a Power BI report for us? And say, okay, good. You know, you get the data, you get the model, you put it in place, and now it's time to create the visuals. And you don't want to use the theme that Microsoft has by default. It's not very pretty, not the settings either. You probably want to use what Lego uses. Obviously, Lego is a big company. They probably have a branding policy that they can send to you, but let's say that they give you freedom, creative freedom. So. Do what you like. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So how do I go about creating themes for any customer? I'm going to pick Lego, then we will pick an anonymous customer so you can see that it works as well. So the first thing that I do is I go into Google and I Google them and I go into images and I try to get a feel for the colors that they use on their um, you can actually do site lego.com so it will search for images just on their site and then you get an idea of how they present the materials what are the predominant colors you know you, you get a feel for their the material like the, the toys how they look how they present marketing material when i was looking for this for this video I love this image. This has perhaps too many colors. So this one was an image that got stuck with me and I said, oh, that would be perfect to create a palette from, right? To get the, the color of the bricks. So what I use, the tool that I really enjoy using, and I will tell you why, is the Adobe Color. It's completely free. I do have an account with Adobe. You can create a, a free account with Adobe. I do have Adobe products though, but you can create a free account to save the themes, but for Power BI it's not very useful. So if you go to coloradobe.com, then you have different uh, tools available. You have the color wheel. I understand nothing about color wheels yet. I'm doing some design courses <laughs> to see if I get better at it. So this for me is too complicated for now. But the extract theme, there are tons of services that will allow you from an image to extract colors and i prefer adobe color of all of the ones that are available out there and i'm going to show you why so the first thing that i ask you is to pick an image so we're going to do that unfortunately for adobe color you know there are some other services that you can put the url and it will get it you don't need to download it with adobe color you need to download the image but it's not the end of the world let's do it so you click on select a file and then I have downloaded the image. I go here to open and then it picks the image and it gives you the colors. Other companies do the same. For example, Canva is a very popular one. If you go to upload the image, it will do the same. It's actually going to do the same as um, Adobe Color does. And not only that, it provides you a ton more colors to pick from. I do prefer, I do like the colors that I double pick more than the ones that Canva picks, for example. So that is one reason. Obviously, you have more here, but once you get too many choices, there are too many, right? Like, okay, what, what am I going to pick? It just gets too complicated. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer to use Adobe. So you have that. Not only that, but it allows you to say, okay, I would like to have more bright colors. I would like to tone them down a little. Look how pretty this scale is put a little bit more depth, darkness. But my favorite thing of all, you know, when you pick colors, sometimes there is colors that you look at them and you say, no, you know, out of experience, that will not work too well with Power BI. And then look at this, you can actually move and find other shadows within the picture. So you can see here, that you can have like darker, like, and then create your own palette. 
out of the colors, out of whatever they suggested, because I already have algorithms that, you know, suggest, like, best color combinations. Don't go too wild, because sometimes I would change it too much, and then when you go to Power BI, it looks horrible, because, you know, there's, like, a uh, reason to madness, you know, there's, like, an algorithm that actually does pick things to make it look good when you put them together. The downside of all these tools is that you just get five colors, and um, in Power BI, you know, if you go here to themes, that's where you will put the colors, customize current theme, you have eight colors. So you have to get the other colors yourself. The good thing about this is once you have the first five, you can actually go back to Adobe. And here they have in the gradient, you can actually say, okay, I want that one, and then I want a darker version and a lighter version. So you, you have the gradients of like that. Perhaps not my best work, but you see, like three yellows, for example, if you would like them. So it gives you an opportunity to very, very easily from the same picture get the colors that you need. I think it's really cool. If you, which you definitely should, I know too little about accessibility, unfortunately, but it helps you here to see the colors that you pick, how it will impact contrast and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So very, very nice. Then you can save it to a library if you are logged in. If you are not, then you just go to the extracted theme and then just copy paste, right? There are more things though. Look here, explore. If I put Lego, Lego is big enough to be here it will actually say, oh, I know what Lego is, and these are the themes that I would recommend for you to use. And then it's like canvas style, but it gives you like the inspiration images that it comes from. So it's actually pretty neat. I thought that what this did was go to Google Images, pick the, a lot of images and then give you palettes, but it doesn't, because if I search by curveball, it doesn't find anything. If you want to have inspiration, there are also a tab for trends, which I find quite uh, interesting, you know, to, to see, okay, what type, what, what colors are being used nowadays? And then you have different um, themes, illustration, U, UI, UX. This is probably what you would like to have for Power BI, because that is what you're doing, basically. Architecture, game design. So. It is actually very, very neat. So Lego was perhaps an easy one. Let's say that there is a restaurant here where I live. It's called Spicy Hot. Best Thai food in here. Like, it's so good. So let's say that they want me to provide a Harvey file. So I would go and I would say, okay, search a Spicy Hot restaurant. And then again, you scroll down and you get a feeling for the colors that they are using, right? You can do the site and then to, to get just from their website if you want to. Uh, and I am going to get the one that is my favorite food, which I, th it's, I think is this. I'm not sure which one. This one maybe? The spicy hot basilica. It's just ridiculously good. Um, and I actually downloaded the image I'm going to show you. So if we go here to create, and then we go to extract theme, and then I select the file, and I put the, the file that I thought it was the prettiest. Look at that. It gives you a really, really nice palette. So you can do that with any customer. You Google the customer, go to their website if they're small, get their pictures, Find a, an image that somehow looks like the corporate image that they have and use Adobe Color. Adobe Color has actually a mobile version. So if you are, you know, if you want to do it on the fly, on the train, low, I want to pick the theme, then you can actually use Adobe uh, Color. I think it's called Adobe Capture on the... Um, mobile app and it will have all this functionality for you. So there is no reason for you to have a pretty dashboard, okay? So give it a go, let me know how it works and I will be back with more design tips if you enjoyed this video. So see you again next week, take care.